Hi, I'm Mark Street. I'm the consultant and training manager at Liberator. You'll see my contact details on screen if you wish to contact me. Email mark at liberator.co.uk or my mobile 07747016660. So in this video, I want to discuss when using LAMP Words for Life, why do the pages close automatically once you've spoken a word? It's a question I often hear when I'm presenting webinars. So I'm gonna share with you the LAMP Words for Life vocabulary. So here we have LAMP Words for Life. Now, some of you may well look at LAMP Words for Life and think, that's extremely busy. What's it all about? Tell me more about it. But let me explain how LAMP Words for Life works. So, first of all, here we've got a full 84 vocabulary system. We do have webinars that will share LAMP Words for Life and explain it in much more detail if you want to know more information about the vocabulary. But let's look at the word feel. So here we have the word feel. And in order to say that word in LAMP Words for Life and the full version, we have to press this icon here, followed by a second button, feel here. And then it will automatically close. People often say, well, when I want to say the word feel happy, I've got to go all the way back to feel. I've got to press another button, happy, and it closes again. What if I want to say feel happy and sad? Then technically I've got to go one, two, three, four, back to where I came from. That doesn't make any sense. Well, hopefully what I'm about to explain to you does make sense and helps you to understand why exactly we do it this way. So the first thing is the chances of saying a word like happy and sad together are not very frequent. People say, well, when I say a color, if I go into my colors here and I want to say the word red, what about if I want to list three of my favorite colors? Then I have to go back in one, two, orange, one, two, yellow. I'm having to go back in and out in and out to say lots of different colors. In reality, we're never really gonna list lots of colors that way. If we do, it's often a compliance exercise. It's often, tell me three of your favorite colors. What three colors do I have in front of you? When was the last time you actually said three colors, red, green, yellow? And if you're sitting there saying, when I talked about a rainbow, how often do you talk about a rainbow? In reality, we don't list off things that are similar, like the colors or feelings. We use those words in sentences. And when we're doing it like that, we may only use one of those buttons. Let me give you an example. Okay, I wanna say feel happy. One, two, three, four. If that had stayed open, that would have been three hits. Feel, one, two, and then three to select happy. But then I've had to hit four hits in order to come out of that page. So it still would have been four hits anyway. What about if I want to say feel it? One, two, three, four. Now I can say feel it with four hits. Feel that. One, two, three, four. What about feel big? One, two, three, four. What about feel love? One, two, three, four. What about feel you? One, two, three, four. All of those examples that I've just shown you would in fact have to be five hits if the pages didn't close. Let me show you. Feel, one, two, I'd have had to hit three. Then I would have had to hit 
four, five, and in fact, six buttons to come back out again. So I could have ended up hitting five or six buttons to say, or say feel love, as opposed to four buttons to say feel love. What about if I want to say feeling? One, two, three, four. Feeling love was again four hits. So by coming out of the page automatically, it minimizes the number of hits I'm having to do, and I don't have to say a word to achieve a word. Notice I said the word feeling, the word feeling there in isolation. I said it by itself. I didn't have to say the word feel. I said feeling, and I said love separately. So coming out of a page allows us an opportunity to say whatever word we like. The other thing to remember is that the word feel is accessed in a unique way. It's the coarticulation of two buttons. One, two, feel. Some people say it's two button presses. I like to say it's a unique motor movement. That, that's feel. Happy is this, sad is this. So I can say, feel, happy, four hits. Feel, I'll say happy, and I'll say and, sad. Now you'll notice, in Land Words for Life, there is a quick way to do things. I'm going to say the word, I feel happy. If I create that using individual words, it's six hits, because I is a unique motor movement of these two buttons. One, two, three, four, five, six. But I'm right back at my starting point. I don't have to clear the screen, nothing is predicting for me, and I can use any word I like as a unique and consistent motor pattern. I'm now gonna say, I feel can be obtained by just two hits. I feel as a shortcut. I'd never teach it this way initially, because I want to teach each word independently. I feel, however, there is a shortcut, I feel, Happy can actually be achieved in four easy selections. If we compare that to other systems, so now I'm gonna do exactly the same exercise on another software. So I'm gonna go into my iPad and I'm gonna share with you my iPad screen. For this particular example, I'm going to look at snap and call. Let's do exactly the same activity and let's see how that works. There's my iPad. I'll share it with you. And now I'm going to go I, I. feel. And yeah, that can be achieved feel. by selecting two buttons. So that's a little bit quicker than that words for life. But actually, if I start to look at morphology, it can in fact be more steps. Now I've got to think about where my feelings are. I could go into descriptors, but I think they're in all words. So I'll go to all words. I feel, and now I'm gonna go into feelings, and I'm gonna look and say the word happy. Happy. Now I've got to hit the home button to go back to the main screen. So that is an extra hit. And now I'm gonna hit clear. So let's count the hits. One. I. Two. Feel. Three. Four. Five. Happy. Six. Because I've had to hit the home button. What about if I want to say, I feel happy and sad? That's clear. I, I 
feel. Feel. So two, three, four, five. Happy. There's no and coming in here. Five, six, seven, and eight, sad, nine. What bothers me there is the and was in a completely different location. So I've got and here on the main screen, but I went to little words, but it was still nine hits. Okay, let's go back to Lamp Words for Life and let's have a look at the, exactly the same sentence again. Back. Remember, if we want to, we can do the shortcut, but I'm going to do it the full way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine, ten. So there were slightly more hits there, but I think the navigation was a lot less. Obviously what I can do is reduce it down to eight hits if I wanted to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But like I say, what I like about this is the navigation is far less and I feel it's more predictable. Okay, let me go into the feelings page again and I'm going to go back into my iPad. So here I am. I'm now going to go back in to say the word happy. One, two, three. Happy. It's taken me three hits, and like I said, the home button, four hits to say the word happy. That same word in Lamp Words for Life, here is the example, is one, two. Two buttons, happy. The other thing I want to share with you is the word feel. One, two. I've just spoken the word feel on screen there. How do I feel? Feel happy. What about if I want to say the word feeling happy? Now I can go one, two, and notice I've got the word feeling and on the screen there on the message display bar, the only word that's being generated or spoken is the word feeling. And I can say happy, feeling happy four hits. So no matter what or which morphology I use, felt happy, feeling happy, felt happy. I can then use or feels happy. It's always accessible in four button hits. If I do exactly the same, let's go back here and share. Now I'm on my iPad, feel is there, one hit. Feel. Two, three, four, happy. Five, to go back to the home screen. So it's an extra hit. I'm going to clear my display here and I'm going to say feeling happy. One, feel. I'm now going to have to come down and select all word forms. Two, Three. Feeling. So now I've said feeling in three hits, but I did in fact say the word feel first. So in fact, what I actually said was feel, feeling, and now I'm going to say happy. One, two, three. Happy. Four. So in fact, in total, it was seven hits to say feeling happy. And I've also had to say feel, feeling, happy. So I hope this goes some way to explain to you why each word in Lamp Words for Life closes upon each page activation. Another consideration is 
I don't always label or need to say a feeling after I've said the word feel. For example, I might want to say, feel this. Now I can go one, two, three, four. Feel this is achieved in four hits. If I had to go into feel one, and imagine I pressed feel and it kept me in that feel page, feel this would now be five hits because I'd have to hit the go back button. One, two, three, four, five, and then I could have potentially had to hit another one, so it could have been six hits at that point. Let me do that again. One, imagine I press this, feel, two, this back button, three. Now I press this button, four, five, and imagine I press this, and I had to press the back button again. That would have been six hits to say, feel this. Whereas by closing automatically, I've been able to learn each word in isolation. I'm able to learn the unique and consistent motor pattern for each word. And best of all, I've been able to produce that word or that phrase in as few hits as possible. Another example might be, I'm gonna say two colors, red and green. One, two. And there is red. Now I've got to go back in three, four. But actually, green can be achieved by pressing this button and this button. That is the word green. This is the word red. Red is produced by the articulation of two buttons. Red. Just like it is in natural speech. Red. My mouth resets itself almost. It takes it back to the home screen. Red, green. So it's a unique motor movement and it's that same unique motor movement that produces that word on the device. I think it's only sometimes with compliance when we say to somebody, tell me your two or three favorite colors that we're actually going to need to name lots of different colors. Tell me three of your favorite foods. But next time you do that, think, is that how you and I would learn that language system? Is that how we would typically ask somebody or would we ask somebody that question? Maybe it's more beneficial to model a sentence and show them how they can produce a sentence using that word. So hopefully this has also explained another reason why closing the page in Lamp Words for Life is much more beneficial and, the, and there are overall benefits to doing this on any system rather than staying in a particular page. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it really useful. If you'd like to know more information, then please contact me at liberator, mark at liberator.co.uk or contact me on 077 47 016 660. Thanks for watching.